Hello everyone, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. For anybody out there that's new to the channel, welcome. Today I'd like to share with you a little haul that I picked up uh, at one of my local car boot sales. Now, to anyone out there that's unsure of what a car boot sale is, basically it's a field or maybe a car park where a group of people get together to sell their unwanted goods. You know, maybe they've had a clear out of, of their loft or their garage and there's items there that they no longer use and they want to sell. They come down to a car boot sale, sell them at ridiculous prices at the back of their car. Now this is a very good good way of starting up uh, your Star Wars collection. Uh, maybe you've not got a lot of money and you can't afford to go and buy brand new items like the, some of the figures you come across uh, in these shops are, are quite expensive helmets etc um, I don't think you're you're, you're going to come across any of the helmets who knows you, you may do you may do but mainly um, what I found at these car boot sales are uh, vehicles and figures Okay, they range from uh, 18 inch figures down to the 10 inch or uh, going all the way down to, to the really small figures. So that that's a good way to start up your collection and uh, that that's how, how basically I started uh, my collection. So um, let's go and have a look at what I've managed to pick up. So, one of the first items that I picked up was this Millennium Falcon. This is the Force Awakens Micro Machines playset from Hasbro. And this came in at a mere £4. Okay. Now, it does come with a few missing, or uh, should I say, it is missing a few items. So we have on here, it should be the solar array. And if we open her up, okay, there we go. We should have a small Millennium Falcon that should fit into there. So basically what that does, you put that down like that. Let me turn this around to make things a little bit easier. Okay, that goes like that. So then a uh, small Millennium Falcon fits on there and then you push that around and it goes around like that. Now originally this did come with some small figures um, but like I say um, it's missing some figures, the Millennium Falcon and a solar array. Apart from that there's literally nothing um, wrong with it. Um, just pop that down pop that back in there, there's a bit of a, an art to getting this back in, there we go, like that, like that, there we go, let's take that off, like I say that was £4, um, yeah, a apart from the missing items, it's uh, it's in good condition, as, as you can see there, um, some nice detail that you can see on there, and on the bottom, now if you was to buy this from new, this one would cost around about £34 approximately and I picked it up for only £4 so that was the first item that I picked up now the second item again is a Millennium Falcon this one is a Revel Snap Tight Millennium Falcon and it's got lights and sound that all work perfectly. Um, you, you've got the little little solar dish on there. Oh, sorry, little solar, solar dish on there that goes round. Uh, it's really good detail. Little top goes round there. Underneath these legs go in and out the landing gear. That one moves round. Okay. And as I said, it comes with lights and sound. Now you see these engine parts here on the back there. This back button, you press that. 
that's the guns firing. Also, this uh, back part of the engine lights up. That's the flyby. And you've got some more guns firing. So, all in all, this is in <laughs> immaculate condition to me. Um, it came in at a mere £2. So, the big one and this one, £6 altogether. And this one would originally come in at approximately £30. So, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this one. Um, when I picked it up, the, um, there was no lights and sound on it. So, I did replace the batteries. And like I say, it works absolutely perfect. That will look awesome in my display. So, that was the second item. Okay, so next item I picked up was this Ezra Bridger from the series Rebels. Originally, he came with a helmet and a lightsaber, but unfortunately, they wasn't with him. So it's just, just him itself. Now, would you believe this only cost me 20 pence? And that is absolutely fantastic. I guess um, uh, he would come in at around about £15 approximately new, roughly. It's the 10-inch uh, figure from Hasbro, and it's a 2014. So this will, this, this will, although we've got parts missing, this will still look nice in my collection. So that's, that's the best bargain of the day, um, I would say, for price-wise, at only £20. Pence. Next up, I picked up a Wookiee warrior, small figure. No, no weapons or anything else with him, but I thought was just just a nice little figure to go in my collection. Um, he's not too too badly worn, um, but for a pound. You can't go wrong with that one. He is actually a 1998 model from Hasbro. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, the Wookiee. Along with the Wookiee, I also picked up a Darth Maul. Now, normally with the Jedis or the Siths, they're always missing their lightsaber but fortunately he still had his lightsaber but his his arm was broken or his hand was broken so i've actually glued that back together and the bonus one for him is he actually moves his lightsaber which is absolutely fantastic another collection good looking collection for me Yeah, and uh, he will look good with the Wookiee. They will both go in my collection. He was a pound, altogether two pound. So, another bargain. Okay, what's next out of the bag? So next out of the bag, we have from the series Mandalorian, Grogu. This is a 2022 model from Hasbro. Uh, apart from a little... Uh, uh, crease in the box it's it's quite mint um, it actually is mint to be honest with you not quite mint uh, it's just just a slight uh, like I say slight slight issue there but apart from that it's mint um, this one was priced at three pound along with him I also picked up the main man himself Din Jaren, also from the Mandalorian series unfortunately the back of the box here is damaged so that that, that reduces the, the price a little bit um, keeping them in the box but putting that aside that's a great find now Din Djarin was for seven pound Grogu was before three pound I done a nice little deal together I picked them both up for a combined price of eight pound so a little bit of a wheeling and dealing there and very, very pleased with, with 
with those two items. Now, let's get on to the find of the day. So the find of the day was a Kenner Star Wars Greedo 50th edition. As you can see there, 50th edition. In mint condition box nothing wrong with the box no damage on on the box at all um fantastic find and fantastic and these are the ones you you you've, you have to pick up as soon as you see them it's no good going back and not picking them up and think oh okay I, I will have him and come back because he'll be gone definitely gone so anything like that do pick up and as you can see he only cost me a mere seven pound now he would normally retail at round about 30 pound new so there again another another bargain as you can see back of the box it's yeah, that's from the original film um brilliant fantastic so yeah for me that was the bargain of the day these like i say these figures you you, you have to pick up you see them Okay, the price is reasonable. Well, the price is brilliant, but, but pick it up. Don't leave it. Trust me, pick it up. Because if you don't, it will be gone. Okay, so there you saw a few items that I managed to collect while I was going around the car boot sale and uh, in total I probably spent uh, around about uh, £25. Looking at the prices of those new, I would say they're in excess of definitely £60 if, if not more. Some of the items there that I picked up wasn't all complete and there was you know maybe a gun missing something like that but you might find these these uh missing items at other car boot sales or maybe on some of the selling sites that you come across tend to sell uh accessories for figures ships etc so yeah do go out and check check your local car boot sale or if you're in the states go to a garage sale you never know what you might find and I, I believe you will probably find a bargain so there we have it everybody um, please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so do check out one of my other videos either there or there until the next time long live the Empire